Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome back to some more Yokai Watch. In the last episode, we upgraded our Yokai Watch to rank B so we can actually go into Eddie's house. But before we even go in his house, uh, first of all, I don't know if it matters whether it's night or not, but we'll find out. The Yokai Watch is going nuts, and apparently, there's already a rank B under our car. So let's see what's under here. This is going to be the first rank B yokai we see. See, I already found some uh, rank C. I already found a rank A. Like, well, I got a rank A from the uh, crank Kai. But what the heck is this thing going to be? And I could have sworn I had a dead center for a little bit. What do we get? Oh, Binkei. Wait a minute. We actually need to find one of these guys for the yokai watch. Not specifically this one, but we do have to beat one. Um, but yeah, we have to be one of these in an underground waterway section so that we can upgrade our yokai watch to a rank A. Now, technically, I could go do this right now, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not gonna worry about it because obviously I'm gonna have to rank up at some point. And I might as well do it when the time is actually right. Oh, geez. So, Purball's already about to go down. Not everyone's doing decent damage. All right. We're going to have to go ahead and speed up everybody. All right. Should end up before you get knocked out. All right. And was that enough? Like, how much damage did that actually take out? Oh, he's almost gone. Go, Tuna Tick. You are amazing. You're basically a god among yokai. That level up, though. All right, another Warren Bangle. That really doesn't matter at all, but... Jeez, imagine if I could actually get him. Like, right off the bat. Oh, another rank B? Under the car again. Is it going to be another one? Straight up, it's just another one. Huh, imagine that. And considering what just one of these did to Purball, imagine what a whole trio of them will do against my whole team. Sure, as long as I got Tuna Tick, I shouldn't have a problem at all, but... So I find it funny that one of the uh, yokai that we need to rank up our watch, we're just finding here where... Like, this should count. This should totally count. I find it silly that it doesn't count. Why do you have to find the specific ones in specific sections? Jeez, that is so much damage at once. Imagine if I recruited one of you guys. Will Sleepy Smoke even work on you? Oh, yeah, it did. Go me. Alright, there's really not much else I could do here. Oh, all right, now you're in spirited and asleep. GG. Jeez, how much health you got? You're about to go down already. Good job, team. Purple, I'm sorry. You're just dying too much. There's not much I could do until you level up. I mean, then again, it is the item I gave you. I mean, that would really drop your defense. But still, is there just another one already? Like, do I just keep searching under cars and they're just going to keep being... Uh, whatever. Let's actually go inside the door. I'm assuming we can go in. Considering we're already here. Wait. Oh, hello, John. I'm sorry, but you caught us at a bad time. We're about to have dinner. Is it almost your dinner time, too? You can come by tomorrow to play with Edward. He'll be free around noon. I'll time you stop by, though. Oh. You stupid continuity. I'm about to go night-night. I'm gonna go night-night, and I'm gonna see you right back here. Nothing's even gonna change except the light of day. And three, two, one. If I accidentally got in perfect position for this, then I'm just that much more amazing than I originally thought. Anyway, I do want to point out that on my way back here, I ran to another Lidoni in the middle of the road. Yeah, this way, this way. I followed him, uh, Yokai jumped out of the box. 
Uh, let's see. Make yourself at home. Edward's room is upstairs on the right. Ooh, treats. I like treats. But, uh, that's what the, the bathroom's right next. <laughs> like, oh, hey, thanks for coming. Uh, take a squat. <laughs> Do your business. Oh, the leather couch and the TV. I will make myself at home. I will make myself at home. Why? Why, why is your living room... Why, why is your house so much better than mine? Why do you have a garden next to your bathtub? What is with rich people? It's stuff. I'm so upset and salty and jealous. Anyway, I fought a yokai and Jabanyan leveled up one more time. Bruh. Bruh. You guys have a small... Mm. I mean, granted, I have a TV in my room too, but... The fact that... Well, my real room, as in real life, as in not in the video game... Eddie is so much better off than John. <laughs> the telescope. The, the blue ground of the outside world you're so rich you make outside look different like uh, this TV though look at this and then look at this what is this dude I'm jealous I'm so jealous this ain't even cool Eddie Hey, John, what took you so long? I've been waiting for you. Yeah, for a whole day. Huh, see, what had happened was there's this magical barrier that prevents only me and no one else in the universe from entering this facility. So, sorry, I had to go around and beat up creatures you also can't see so that I was powerful enough to go through your front gate. Understandable? Understandable. Cool. My dad just gave me a couple of museum passes. They're gonna expire soon. How about we go together? To the museum? Sure. I know you might not be interested in all this education stuff, but you might benefit from getting a taste of the culture, don't you think? Girls love cultured guys. If that's why we're going, then sure. They do, don't they? Of, of course. That's what my dad says anyway, so you're in, right? My mom is making me do some chores first, so let's just meet over there. All right, museum ticket. We're gonna go to a museum. This is our way of picking up chicks. Uh, see, the only way this actually helps you pick up chicks is, you know, like the first grade thing where the the buddy system rule happens and you have to pick a partner and then <laughs> oh my god funny story funny true story all right hold up uh i wonder what exhibits they have at the museum right now it looks like you have to wait a bit to play Eddie's new game yeah i'm not too worried about it let's get to the museum yeah we're actually going to the museum instead of playing video games wow but um fun little story um Shoot, was her... I think her name was Destiny, actually. I'm starting to think about this. This is way back first grade. I highly doubt she'd be watching this. Um, I actually have not seen her since first or second grade, I now that I think about it. But no, seriously, there was this girl I had a crush on way back then, and I used the buddy system rule because the buddy system rule was no matter how many chaperones we had, in order for all the kids to stay together and always have someone with them, the teacher implemented the buddy system where you have to hold hands with someone. And when I heard hold hands, I was like, uh, match me up with destiny. She's like, okay, but it was alphabetical order. And I was like the third one in class to pick a partner. And I just happened to pick her and she's like, oh, okay, whatever. Like she didn't think anything of it. And I was like, ah. <laughs> but <laughs> first grade me. Um, I was such a loser. I still am. What am I talking about? I'm talking to myself in, in, a, in an imaginary audience. I mean, sure, you guys are watching the video, but you're not here with me at this very second. You're looking at past me. 
<laughs> I am so lame. Where's this museum? It's way up there. I'm not I'm not even going the right way. Freaking destiny, you're ruining everything. Uh oh, geez. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Okay. It's not even that far. No wonder he went to the museum. It's not even that far. Okay, whoa, well, there was a there was a yokai. Hold up. It's probably just yeah, it's Bablong. You know what? It's been a while. I don't think we got any new advice yet. Let's see what you got. Bananos. It's not even Bablong. It's bananos. Ugh. You can control the pace of battles, press the X button, got it. Start was that too short? Well, I'm just a banana after all. <laughs> okay, I'll take you over Bablong any day. You gave me information I already knew, but it didn't even take that long and you acknowledged it. Oh, that was beautiful, that was gorgeous. Okay, wow, we don't even have to talk to you, do we? You have a ticket, please enjoy your visit. Yes. Um, are you here to see the ever popular Tyrannosaurus Rex? There's also a modern, modern art exhibition currently on the second floor. Cool! Um, where are you at, big boy? Oh, there you are. I don't know how you got here so fast. Well, then again, I did walk way too far away while rambling about destiny, but... Uh, dude, just a try. You have a Triceratops head, but a whole Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the reflection on the floor is amazing. Like, considering this is a 3DS game, it looks so good. Anyway. Hey, John, I was starting to think you were going to bail on me. Check it out, a skeletal model of a T-Rex. You like dinosaurs too, right? Yeah, sure. You know about the meteor crash and how the dinosaurs became extinct? Wasn't that Lord Beerus getting annoyed at them? And then somehow dinosaurs still existing millions of years later alongside humans, even though you drove their race to extinction. For anyone who follows Dragon Ball Z at all and then Dragon Ball Super, don't you find that odd? Beerus says he drove all the dinosaurs to extinction, yet there are dinosaurs in Dragon Ball Z. Moving on. Dust from the crash blocked out the sun and changed the ecosystem. Huh. You really don't have any interest in info like this, do you? Just imagine what the world would be like if they hadn't gone extinct. We would have gone extinct. I'm going to check out some of the other exhibits while we're here. All right, so just check out the exhibits. I wonder when something interesting is going to happen, but... Well, not that this isn't interesting. You know what I mean, yokai related. See, this actually would be somewhat interesting if you went to a real museum, but oh, hello, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 this is bad. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. Dude, will you listen to my problem? I got one that's from this problem. Okay, uh, I got a vase at home. It's family heirloom, no one's supposed to touch, but I smashed it when we were swinging my baseball bat. I got scared and ran, but that probably made things worse, huh? Children are prone to mistakes. Forgiveness will be given, but it is hard to find that right away. I was thinking I'd get dinner for my parents when I apologize. You get dinner for your parent. Okay, whatever. Do you think you could bring me their favorite foods? What are their favorite foods? Marbled beef. Mighty medicine. Um, Expensive taste, yeah. Uh, jungle hunter, we could trade in some bugs or fish. That should make things easy. Okay, cool. So, I probably will be able to do this. Also, I need to go on top of the, uh, I need to go by Mount Wildwood and drop off the catfish while I'm at it. All right, dad likes marble beef, mom like, likes mighty medicine. Yeah, um, I'll take care of that later, I guess. All right, so apparently I do have to go upstairs, but... Is there anything else actually of interest, or is this something you'd really have to look at, like, intensely to even notice? There's gotta be some actual fun facts in here that are, like, many different types of bugs on display. There, there's gotta be some kind of hidden fact or Easter egg in here. Like, there's gotta be. This would be the place to put it. 
But anyway, let's go up the stairs. See what Eddie's doing. All right, he is on the left, so I want to go to the right. Ooh, the modern art. Ooh, nice eye. I feel like I'm being sucked in. Wait. I'm about to say, that's not actually anything, is it? It's just moving, though. It's on the floor, too, swirling. I'm probably gonna have to do something over here. I have a feeling the yokai... Okay, hmm, what the heck is this? This is a work of art, probably. Yeah, a star with an eyeball and a, and a nose and a smiley face. Okay. If you insist. Oh, hey, this looks like... Never mind. Wait. Da dancing stars at the item I have? Oh, God, okay. See, I was thinking it was referring to something that I've got on me, but no, apparently not. I don't feel like talking to people. All right, let's just come talk to Eddie. I saw this in our textbook, but maybe this is just a replica. I'm not sure if we'd be lucky enough to have an original here. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to tell the difference. I'm not too big on history anyway. I dig science way more. But to each their own, I guess. <laughs> Wait, so if you prefer science, why are we in a museum? Now, I know there's science museums. There's a, those are a thing, but we're in a, we're in a history museum. It, of some sort. I mean, there's stuff on display that's not science related. Art museum? I don't even know. There's an art section. But I'm not sure what you would really consider. Like, there's a T-Rex on the bottom floor and then bugs on the other side. Like... Alright, so now Eddie is over. I just noticed this giant hand. Why did I not even notice that this was a hand? Whoa, that is a big hand. And you can walk under the hand. It's so weird. Huh. Hmm, indeed. It's rotating. It sure is. I don't get this stuff, but maybe people will love it in the future. You mean future people will love it? Or people now will love it in the future? I believe what Eddie meant to say was that great minds are often at the forefront of vision and innovation. Countless famous artists were often not all appreciated in their time. See, look at the form here. It's really quite interesting. I don't get it at all. Now, that's actually a funny thing. I've actually said this on live streams a couple times whenever people bring up like high school or college to me and like advice and stuff. And one of my, like my art teacher in high school, not that I'm any kind of art person at all. It was a mandatory thing for like stuff. Anyway, I had to take it and my art teacher actually said, if you get into art, just be forewarned Artists earn way more money after they're dead. Because <laughs> when you stop and think about it, like, when, when you stop and think about it, an artist, like, they can keep making more and more stuff and keep going and going and going and, and like, it never really ends. But once they're gone, let's just say, like, something autographed by an artist or, like, anything with their signature on it and then... Just the fact that it was their style. Well, if they're gone, no one else can really produce the same kind of thing. Therefore, it's a little more valuable. And money go... It, it, it's just a little more, like, expensive, I guess. And then your children might be happy for you, but... <laughs> now, I'm, I'm not saying that goes for everybody. I'm just saying this is what my art teacher said. And before the internet was so amazing with art and digital design and stuff like that, hey, she wasn't wrong. Anyway. Man, that was fun. Yeah, I chased you all over the museum and talked to you like four times. These are the kind of smart hobbies we need to make girls, wait, we need to make girls like us. I really hope my dad is right about that. Unfortunately, I wouldn't find what I was I couldn't find what I was looking for What was that? Well, there's been this weird rumor going around the museum lately Something about one of the items on display moving around on its own the eye The eye on the second floor What do you think? 
about a suit of armor moving on its own? I think it's nonsense. Oh, suit of armor. Like it was just glaring at you from across the room. Oh, well, okay. I mean, if you saw it, it was so creepy. I thought he was about to yell just like jackpot. <laughs> All right, did you hear that? There's the hot tip I was hoping for. A moving suit of armor? Imagine what secrets could be hiding inside it. I read a magazine article about these parapsychologists the other day. They try to use science to reveal and explain supernatural phenomena. If stuff like that exists, I want to see it with my own eyes. So that's why Eddie was so excited about visiting the museum. And I like how he's all up in Eddie's face knowing that he can't see him. It wasn't about getting culture so girls would like him, not totally anyway. I want to know more about the suit of armor too. It could be a yokai. Hey, uh, you'll come with me, right? It comes out at night and I figure we can cover more ground together and prove the supernatural exists. S -s sure, yeah, of course. Gotcha. Great. Let's meet up in front of the museum later tonight. Uh, automatic transition, please. No. Aw. And see, if you wanted to come to the museum and then we have to come back at night, your mom could just let us go to the museum at night last night, couldn't she? All right, so we got a yokai just chilling on the swing right here. Oh, another wall kappa. And you're gonna attack, huh? Swings are so fun and so radical. Do you want to take a swing? Oh. And we attained a cucumber. Kind of random. But all right, a wall cap just gave us a cucumber. Anyway, what I'm doing now, aside from nearly killing myself in the street, I'm actually heading up to Mount Wildwood so that we can give the girl to catfish since we caught those in the last episode But unfortunately I caught them at night, so I couldn't give them to her So we're just heading straight up there, and that's what we're gonna take care of next All right hand of the two catfish exactly two And there we go. Oh, she loves us now how much do we actually get for that? Because it wasn't all that difficult. We just had to go north and actually do it. All right, so 300 experience points for everyone. That's actually not bad, especially considering we just keep finding medium EXP orbs all the time. And the bonus scene. Yeah, we haven't seen that before. And we haven't gotten that before. Oh, sarcasm. Why are you so strong with me? All right, so we got another Lidoni in the middle of the road. Well, the parking lot, rather. Well, I like how this one basically forces you to jaywalk. All right, what do you have for me? Anything good? I mean, following you always gives me something for free, so I might as well just do it. And why are you coming so far? There's a why way out here. Nasty medicine. Yeah. All right, Eddie, we're back at the museum. We're here at night. What took you so long, John? Oh, I don't know. Having to go all the way to back to my house to manually sleep in order to make it nighttime in this game. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. We won't be able to get in through the front door, though. Let's put up and look for another way inside. Got it. Breaking and entering in a museum. Good thing it has an arrow telling us exactly how to get in. Or like an X marks the spot kind of thing on the map. What's up with this mirror? It's giving off an aura, John. Find any points of entry? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing just staring at that old mirror? Um, hello, checking myself out, making sure that I look good enough for the ladies that are gonna meet us at the museum, duh. Okay, shiny mirror. Whoa, what was, did you see that? 
Whoa. This is even creepier than normal. Did we just get teleported inside? All right. Eddie is officially gonna be freaked out. Where are we? Hmm. We seem to be somewhere inside the museum. Impossible. We were just outside a second ago. I mean, I just experienced it, so obviously it can't be impossible, but how did that just happen? It's almost like some sort of wormhole. People can go through walls with uh, quantum tunneling, so maybe... Really, dude? All these infrared beams, you better not trip none of them. Don't you, don't you, do, 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 right, no, okay. Okay, okay, we're all right. Hey, Whisper, a yokai did that, right? I would think so. This must have just been a Marapo's doing. They can move things through mirrors in an instant. Humans see that items that become yokai as regular items they once were. So that mirror we just saw in front of the museum was actually a... Oh, hi. Hi, Marapo. Blech. There it is. My name is Marapo. I'm the museum's yokai in residence, so to speak. I teleported you here because I wish to ask a favor of you. It seems to be in trouble. Let's lend it in here, or four. <sighs> really? Okay. This museum has been experimenting a strange phenomenon recently. A display piece wanders around nightly, making dreadful noises. It has awoken me every night, and I do so treasure a good night's sleep. I suspect that it, it might be a yokai. However, mirrors such as myself are rather fragile. I couldn't dare stop it. Indeed. Trouble by a mysterious yokai? Sounds like a job for us. We should be, we should help it protect, wait, we should help it protect its home, we should help it protect its home exhibits, John. I hate doing the voice and trying to read, <laughs> for sure. We basically got into the museum on some sort of astronomical fluke. The door's still locked, so now we still gotta find a way out, but that's for later. Let's figure out what's up with that mirror. Well, that armor, whoops. I didn't see a suit of armor when we were here earlier, though. It's probably in the vault. That's where the undisplayed exhibits are. Museum security is seem to be controlled by that device there. I'll see if I can bypass the protocols and disable the security measures. How about you look for the key to the vault while I do that, John? I've never seen Eddie so motivated about something non-bug related. Let's work with him to find that yokai and protect the museum. We'll need to find a way to steer clear of that security in pl wait, of all the security in place. Lead that to- Yes! Put Marapo on the place of the infrared beams and reflect them somewhere else. Got it. Why are there so many of you? You have no trouble to make use of my power. All right. Oh, Marapo teleports us around. Oh, that sounds even better to me.